guys. We've got some very special visitors here today. Characters for a Cure is an event helping raise awareness about childhood cancer. And joining us to tell us more about this exciting event happening this weekend is one of the organizers, Miss Angie Adams and Mickey and Minnie. Thank y'all for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about this event. When and where? Okay, this event is this coming Saturday, October 27th at Wiregrass Commons Mall. It will be in center court. Um, the hours are one to four. And um, I will have Mickey and Minnie, of course, there with several other characters. We've got uh, right around 40 characters that will be in wow. support to meet and greet with the children. Okay, so pretty much any kind of Disney character you can imagine, they will mm -hmm. be represented, yep. it sounds like. We've got like. The, some Disney characters, and we've also got superheroes. we got several of the mascots, uh, Poppy from uh, the Trolls will be there this year. Okay. Uh, Shimmer and Shine is our new characters this year, so they'll be They'll be there also. Just sounds like a great event for the whole entire family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they can actually stay after the main event and trick or treat later. Do you want right. to tell us about that? Yes, the children can wear their costumes and trick or treat with the mall vendors. Uh, trick or treat starts at six o'clock. They can um, go store to store and get candy, and it's a, a good, safe place, fun place for them to. Um, Trick or treat. So each store will be handing out candy right. during mm -hmm. that event. Very nice. And this this is not your first year, not no. your first rodeo. Y'all mm -hmm. been doing this for what, nine years We've been years doing this now? for nine years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And talk to us, if you would, about your involvement, how you got involved. It's very near and dear to you. Yes. This cause is very dear to my heart. It's uh, to benefit childhood cancer research and awareness. Um, in 2004, my son Wesley got diagnosed with cancer. He was a senior at Dothan High School. Uh, ten months later, he had passed away from cancer. So but sorry. during that ten months, he underwent um, at Houston MD Anderson underwent several uh, clinical trials and mm -hmm. research, and so he was made aware that the things that he participated in may not help him, but would eventually, hopefully, help some other children in the future. Mm -hmm. And so it was his goal and his desire that something he did would help benefit. So I'm just kind of. Uh, keeping his legacy going with this this event. Well, I'm very sorry to hear about that, but what a wonderful thing that you're doing to honor mm -hmm. his name. Um, so let's talk about, do y'all have a monetary goal? How much have y'all raised in the past? Well, in, last year we raised right around 3,000. Okay. Uh, we have raised up to 5,000. Last year was a little off because of um, a lot of uh, kids were having other events going on that day in, mm -hmm. in the Wiregrass. Um, hopefully this year we'll have a, another record-breaking year. Mm -hmm. And talk to me, I know you know statistics, it's more people in our area that suffer mm -hmm. with, that have childhood cancer than you might uh, imagine. Just talk mm -hmm. to us a little bit about stats, if you okay. would. Well, actually, uh, this year, a group that I'm associated with called Paint the Town Gold, mm -hmm. it's a group of parents that have children, adolescents uh, that have been diagnosed with childhood cancers. Mm -hmm. uh, we just formed this organization and our goal is to increase awareness uh, to childhood cancer. Hopefully to, in the long run, increase funding for childhood cancer. Right. As of right now, the federal government only um, allots 4% to childhood cancer. Really? And so um, we're wanting that number to change. We want more funding. Uh, and the only way to do that is by having more awareness for the community to know how prevalent this is. We actually took account of childhood cancer victims in our Wiregrass area this year, mm -hmm. and it was close to 50. Wow. children affected with um, You wouldn't childhood imagine cancer. that, no. Mm -hmm. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. And you said your son passed away with leukemia, is he that did. correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I was telling you earlier, my great granddad had leukemia. Mm -hmm. He passed away from that. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't just affect children, but adults yes. as well. Uh -huh. Okay. Anything else you want to, um, do we talk about cost? There is a, a minimal it is. cost. It's $5 per child. Um, they'll be able to come into the roped off area in mm -hmm. center court and visit with all the all the different characters. Uh, parents be sure to bring cameras so that you can get pictures of this. Uh, they, we also will be handing out candy as they leave our event. Mm -hmm. um, the parents are free if okay. they're coming with a child. So just the child. Just pays the child. Five dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to mention about this event that's happening? Mm -hmm. We just hope everybody can come out and visit with our characters. Our characters have put a lot of time into costumes and uh, preparing and, and studying up on their characters so that they can be enrolled. So uh, the characters are excited as the kids will be. Well, it sounds like a very fun event. Let's recap one more time before we go. Okay. This weekend, times again? It's from 1 to 5. 
Okay. At Wildgrass Commons Mall Center Court. Okay, and it's being sponsored by the Paint, Paint the, the Town Goal Committee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. It was so nice to oh, meet you. Thank y'all, so Mickey and Minnie, for being here. <laughs> and as always, we're going to uh, put more information if you're interested about this event on our website at dothanfirst.com. And stay with us. Gary has a final look at our forecast when we return.